Pittsburgh Pirates hosting the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox are minus 190 on the money line. The Pirates are plus 158. The over-under is eight and a half runs. The Red Sox laying a run and a half are minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. And the Pirates getting a run and a half are plus 100, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. It was supposed to be Eovaldi, but now it's Winkowski versus Brubaker. It doesn't matter. Neither one of these pitchers has pitched against the opposing team last year. The Red Sox are on a three-game winning streak. They are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. They are 30-29 and 29 on the road. They are 6-7 and seven as a team with Winkowski on the mound. They won his last three starts. And the under is 7-4 and four in the games in which he pitches in. The Pirates are on a six-game losing streak. They are 24-31 and 31 at home. They are 2-8 and eight in their last 10. They've lost Brubaker's last six starts. They are 7-14 and 14 with him on the mound. The over is hit in his last three games, and the over is 11-9-1 in the games in which he pitches in. Head-to-head, -head, the Red Sox are on a five-game winning streak. The Red Sox are 6-4 and four against the Pirates in their last 10. The favorite winning the game by two, minus a run and a half, is 7-3. and three. There have been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The under is 6-3-1 and one in their last 10. That's what the casino sets it at. And the under 8.5 specifically is 7-3. and three. Ironically enough, the home team is 7-3. and three. I don't think that's going to matter in this game. I'm going Boston with the money line, Boston laying the runs, and the under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.